Shalom. Call hello la Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world and call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom also to you brothers, you Akim, that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, the child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst, which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, are the nations starting from 2 1 down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage, oops, your bloodline, your lineage goes back to these people, as you see on this chart, through the man. And if your spirit bear witness with this word, the truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, when the child that does apply, you are Israelites. Though, once again, you do look like the heathen, you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people in this chart. So you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but then the Israelites, because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15th verse, the spirit bear witness with this word that they're the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, and their lineage goes back to these people through the man. Alright, no matter what they come looking like at their fathers and Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. To the few aqua, a few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, believe, and do honor to your husband, Shalom. To the elect of Israel, wherever you may be, scattered, Shalom to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, once again, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people, the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who the world and calls Jesus, Yahweh Shah. Alright? And, um, today, I seen this video and I wanted to, you know, just do a real quick one on it. But it says, what will a nuclear blast do to your body? All right. Because, you know, in the videos, we be like, you know, this place will be destroyed via, all right, fire. But it's going to be three different rays. You're going to have the chariots. You have these people. All right. And then it's going to, uh, you know, the last, which I always call it the cherry on the top, is going to be what? It's going to be the missile, man. All right. And you tell people that, and they realize, like, they don't give a shit, or they think, you know, if they do get hit with a missile, it's going to be a quick death, all right? So we're going to see on how this video, and I might got another clip, you know, but all right, we're going to play it. So, turn it up first. It can seem pretty cool in video games and movies, but it would be a whole lot scarier in real life, especially if it had to do with nuclear warfare. I'm interested on what a nuclear blast would do to the human body, and hopefully we can learn why we should try and avoid such things in the future. For starters, just what is a nuclear bomb? A nuclear bomb is a name generally given to a weapon that's explosion is the result of energy released by a reaction involving atomic nuclei. This is typically done through fission, usually powered by uranium or plutonium or fusion, which is more powerful and usually involves hydrogen. Fission supplies the main damaging power for atomic bombs, whereas fusion is involved for hydrogen bombs. As such, both the atomic bomb and the hydrogen bomb are nuclear weapons. However, it's interesting to point out that fusion bombs can still use fission with regards to detonating or triggering the bomb. So what could a nuclear blast do to the human body? Well, and yeah, I put it out there. Who gave, you know, these heathen, Star when Esau, even the so-called white man, all right, his, uh, the ability to create these things, all right? For one, the blessing of Esau was what? Uh, Genesis 27 and 38. On down to 40 verses, what that he was given by Isaac to bless in the fatness of the earth, all right, and then what that he shall live by the sword, man, all right, and his blessings that sword, what, what, which the sword is an instrument of death, as a weapon of mass destruction to your body or you know, to uh, anything around it, okay. And the Lord, let me, see, let me get that right quick, all right, let me get the scripture right quick. Bear with me. <laughs> All right, it's John three. All right, so let me go ahead. It's John three, and.
and 25. It says, Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the, the Jews about purifying. And they came on to John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. And John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except he be given him from heaven, man. Okay? So that's the point, man. All right? Wisdom, you know, uh, riches, you know, whatever you could think of. You can't receive that unless it's given to you from all high, man. And the Lord gave the Esau and these heathens, okay, the wisdom to what? Create these uh nuclear missiles, okay? So um, let me get that in Isaiah 54. Alright. I should get uh Job 33. Let me see. Alright, this is Job 33 and 12. Behold, in this thou art not just, I will answer thee, that Yahweh is greater than man. Why dost thou strive against him? For he giveth not the account of any of his matters. For Yahweh speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In the vision, in a, uh, in a dream, in the vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumbers upon the bed, alright, that he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose, high profit man. All right. So he puts cert, uh, what you're going to do tomorrow, how you're going to make something, what you're going to eat. All right. He puts all these things. All right. This video I'm doing. All right. That was already put in my mind by the most high to do it. Okay. This particular day. All right. To do it this particular time. Okay. This particular fashion. That's all the most high is doing. It's not of my going. Man's going is what? It's of the Lord, man. How can a man so so part of his own way, man? Okay? And let me get Isaiah 54. Okay? Let me see. Right. It's Isaiah 54. In 15, it says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. And that's speaking, you know, of us. But it says, now here's the point. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the wasted to destroy it. And what you think, okay, is that that's talking about. Okay, it's the missiles, man. All right, these nuclear missiles, all right, these real, I call them, you know, weapons of mass destruction right here. The Lord created it, but he put the spirit upon uh, men, okay, to, to make it on the earth, man, okay? That's what he's done, okay? So the Lord's created the uh, weapons, uh, these nukes, okay, using these heathens, man, and there's a purpose you know, like it says, there's a time and a purpose for everything under the sun, man. You see? All right. Because what? What does the scripture say? Let me get Malachi. All right. Let me play a little bit more of the video. Nuclear explosions can produce blasts of air similar to more conventional weapons. The blast what? can injure the human body. It's lucky. I'll get it. This is Malachi 1, 4 and 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, man. And do you know how, how a hot... Just imagine you cooking something on the stove, right? You know how hot just to touch the top of the stove is? So imagine... You turn the hook, the oven up, you know, you baking something, and you turn the oven up, you know, all the way up, man. All right, you pull the um the little uh, door down, 
And you could just feel the heat. And you could smell how hot it is. Even You could even smell how hot it is. Imagine that, man. Okay? A, a missile, a nuclear missile is way more hotter than that, man. Okay? You talking about weapons and fire that could, when it sweeps through, whatever it sweeps through, all right, it destroys everything. No matter how, you know, how uh, hard it is to burn or destroy it, man. All right? Let me get this Malachi 4 and 1. Behold, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all that, all the proud, yeah, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemal Shah of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. All right, this is what's coming. This is going to be the, the, the mother of all, not the mother, but the father. You know, you don't want to put that out there. The father of all uh, plagues, man, that the heavenly father is going to send, okay, on the earth, man. This is going to be, like I always call it, the cherry on the top, man. Okay? The judgment is a cake. And the the, the, the final piece of that cake is going to be that the, the, the missiles. Okay? So, this is what's coming. Okay? Actually, you know what? Let me get one more. And people, you people think it's a joke. You people think it's not going to happen. You still think that. You, you, most likely, okay, like I always say, the Lord blinds you, okay? And most likely, some of you that's doing it or in that mindset, you're going to be preserved for this time, man. All right, this is Joel 2 and 1. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, which is you Israelites, all right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and we blowing that trumpet. We letting you know, okay? Was fitting to come, and you know what? I actually, before I got Malachi four one, I actually had the scripture, you know, because what did the Lord? What was the first death? What did the Lord do the first time He fled? You know, He fled the earth, okay. But this time around, what's He gonna do? He's gonna purge uh this place. He's gonna purge the wicked with what fire, man. That's what I really meant to get the first time, but you know, it's all good. All right. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and blow us in sound, and alarm in my holy mountain. Let all that happens in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord coming for, for it is nigh at hand. And this is what we're approaching. This is why you see America in that decline, uh, declining uh, stage, man. This is why you see people socially, mentally, spiritually, and physically declining in this place, man. All right, because we coming to this day. We coming to that very moment, okay? Where this uh, place is going to be burnt up, man. The wicked is going to be burnt up. And I'm not trying to partake in that, all right? <laughs> it says, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and the strong. They have not been ever the light, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations, all right? Because once this system burns up, what? A, a new system is going to be in place. That new system is going to be ran, which I'll get that later, all right? If I could, if I get to it, but it says a fire devoureth, okay, before them, and that's also one of the spirit of vengeance, as it says in Sirach thirty nine, man, okay, fire is one of those uh, spirits of vengeance, man. All right, you got like it says in Isaiah nine and sixteen, the people shall be as the uh, the uh, fuel for the fire, man, okay. These rites, and then they're literally gonna be fuel for the fire, man, when the fire hit. But I'm gonna keep going. Before them and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. So you might actually look at it and oh, he's talking about horses. No, he's talking about what? These missiles, okay? These ICBM nuclear missiles that's going to be shot off in this third world's war, man. All right? It says, like the noise of a char of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pain and all face shall be gathered, shall gather blackness, man. All right? Because you people are going to look up and see, all right, that the sun is blotted out, that the sky is pitch black. And you're going to look up and wonder why it's pitch black. And you're going to see. All these missiles shot from all these different um countries hitting this place at once. All right, and you had what was it two, three years, three years ago? You had America try to test their uh 
nuclear defense system, and it failed, man. It actually failed, man. And that's the Lord doing it, man. All right? The Lord uh, allowed that to happen. He's going to allow, you know, it to happen again, man. It's not his, Esau's nuclear defense system is not going to work against this, man. It's going to be too much all at once. See, if it's just one missile, one or two missiles, you know, maybe he would have been able to stop it. But you're going to have millions of missiles, all right, come this way. All right? No lie. All at once. Imagine that. How else is America going to be destroyed within one hour? All right? One missile can't really destroy America. You see? It's going to take thousands. It's going to take millions of missiles to destroy America, man. All right? What you got? 50. If they, I think they added some. 50, 51, 52, you know, uh, 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 states. All right? But it says... And you people, once you see that the uh, defense, the missile defense system here, it, it failed, you people are all going to shit yourself. Excuse my language. You just got to say it like that, man. You people are all going to lose it, man. All right? It was, a, um, it was a movie based on this. It came out in the early 80s. I think 83. It was a movie where the people thought uh, a missile was going to hit. And it was, at the end, people just started running all over the place. They was just running all over the place. They was going crazy. I forgot what that movie was called. But some, of, some of you may know it. I think it came out 82, 83. Now, that's spiritual. You see, you hear the fire truck in the background. But uh, it says, they shall run like mighty men. All right. They shall climb the wall like men of war. They shall march everyone on his own way. Ways, Salaki. And they shall not break their ranks. Meaning what? The defense system. That's going to be used to prevent this. It's not going to work. All right. They're not going to um malfunction on their way to their destination. They're going to hit their destination. And they're going to hit it with accuracy. Because the Lord Spirit is going to be in the missiles, man. All right. And it says they should climb like, like climb the wall like men. If you see a missile hit. All right. I'm going to get that. It says neither shall one thrust, an, uh, thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the sea, and they shall run up the wall, and they shall climb upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. And that's going into what? The destruction, man. All right? Just like uh the movie Terminator 2, okay? Where uh the fire, once it hit, it was just devouring everything in the sight. The people, it was uh, uh collapsing buildings. It was going through cars. That's what it's going into. And actually... I'm going to let this play. Body through effects such as rupturing eardrums or lungs, or by throwing people at dangerous speeds. Collapsing structures and flying debris caused by the blast can also See? lead to injury. Buildings. This can range anywhere from smaller scrapes and wounds to a person's bones being crushed. Death can occur if the damage is bad enough. Even if they don't die immediately, it can be possible for a person to be buried under rubble that they can't escape from. But a nuclear blast has another level of harm that can hurt the human body. Beyond the effects we just talked about, it can generate an intense Hence pulse of thermal radiation that yep. can burn people's skin and start fires. It's typically worse the closer a person is to the center of the blast, with the possibility of their insides being roasted alive and their body even being incinerated if they were close enough. You the see blast that? Your body just, just gone. All right. And now I'll have another lead clip. to more long-term health consequences such as cataracts and after effects have been seen in cases like Hiroshima that involve problems like thyroid disease. Some Actually, I have that video. Alright. I've seen this in um keeping the kids busy, clients happy, and your money moving? You're unstoppable. With mobile deposit in the Wells Fargo mobile app, you can bank without missing a beat. So lock here for that. But I seen this in uh high school. I remember seeing this in what, ninth, tenth grade? You know, I was surprised seeing that. You know, I kind of thought this was when I was in the world. You know, this was before I knew anything about the truth. But uh, I thought that was uh, that was cruel as hell. You know, to drop the bomb on these people like that. You know, even though Ammon, you know, which is the so-called Japanese, they are enemy too. But still, though, all right. So. I saw an aircraft, like a tiny silver drop, entering the sky above Hiroshima. I think it was there. 
そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、そんなとき、I was counting. Ichi ni san. Scream go who did that? I was wiping the desktop. That was when the bomb was dropped. Ne. Five seconds from the time the bomb left the airplane until it exploded. And I think there wasn't a man in the airplane that wasn't either timing it with his watch or counting or doing something. I was sure the bomb was a dud. I was sure it wasn't going to work. That's how you people is in America now. You know, it's a lot for that. Pops talking about happy Thanksgiving. All right? Lord gonna kill a lot of you. Like I said before, Lord gonna kill a lot of you Israelites. All right? That's celebrating that madness, man. All right? That's finna celebrate this madness today. You've been warned that uh, that's uh, against your how about Shema was shot, man. All right? It don't matter who you is. But anyway, this is how you people in America is, man. Lackadaisical. All right? You don't believe nothing's going to happen. You know, like it says in Ezekiel 39, man. Just walking like these people. They wasn't expecting, all right, that bomb to hit. Okay? So let me just keep playing it. After falling for 43 seconds, the time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. A uranium bullet fired down a barrel into a uranium target. Together, they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy. Look at that. That's that's like I said. They should climb. Let me get it again. All right. This is Joel two and um, right seven says they should run like mighty men. They should climb the wall like the men of war, like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his waist. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And one and when they shall fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. And you know it's talking about more than one. Cause see, this was just what this was just one or two bombs. Okay, you know it's talking about more than one because it says they, you know, show walk everyone in his path. All right, if it was just one, it wouldn't need to say that. You see, it says they shall run to and fro in the city, they shall run upon the wall, they shall climb up the houses, upon the houses, they shall enter into the windows like a thief. And that's what it's doing right there. All right, what you just saw, and he's gone. to the windows. Look at that. Let 
what that look like from above, the lake of fire. All right? And that was just that was just one bomb, man. Imagine, like I said, imagine thousands and millions of them coming all at once. What do you think is fitting to happen to you people that's still on the ground, man? Let me get that. All right. This is uh, 2, 10, I mean, Joel 2 and 10. It says, the earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble. Like in that video, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall draw, withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, is great and very terrible. And who can abide it, man? All right? That's why it's what? A fearful, a terrible and fearful thing that falls into the hands of the living power, man. But you you got, you you uh, Israelites that uh, don't believe that, you in for a rude awakening, man. You think you're going to die a quick death and what we about to come into? You out your mind, man. Okay? And it says, who can abide, you know? Uh, that terrible day, the only one that's going to abide, all right, it's going to be, it's going to be the Lord's elect, man, and those, those, uh, that great multitude, man, all right, hold on, bear with me, All right, so let me get that right quick. All right, this is Revelation 15 and 1. All right, it says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh. And I saw it as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast. This system. And who's going to get the victory over the beast? All right. It's going to be, you know, the elect. Okay. They're going to have the victory over the beast, man. This system, man. And it says, and over his image, the system, of course. But it says, and over his mark, that chip, man. All right. That microchip that he's fitting to uh, 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 cave out to you people, man. With the along with the Maxine right now, we in that time now. Okay, this is what we about to come into. And over the number of his name, stand on the the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. Cause what are these uh the elect gonna be? They're gonna be in the chariots, man. All right. The only way it's gonna you're gonna be able to abide and escape, okay? This is by way of what? The Lord. Let me get that first. You know what? I should get that first. It's Isaiah 31. Okay. Then I'm gonna get that. It's Isaiah 31, okay, and 4. It says, For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion, lion roaring on his prey, when the multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord, Yahweh, Shema, Shav, host, come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. Man. He's only going to fight for his elect, man. Because uh, the elect, what? They're going to strive unto the truth. Strive for the truth unto death. Two thirds ain't gonna strive on uh to uh strive to fight for the truth unto death. They're gonna take the chip, man, because they wanna what forward their lives in this wicked uh system. Okay? So the Lord's not gonna fight for them. You see? It says, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts, Lord Yahweh Shemashah of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it. So he's gonna what? He's gonna deliver. His elect and those believers, which are all Israelites as well, the women and children, and some men that believe in Yahweh by Shema Shah, all right, we we'll, uh, they're going to be delivered on those chariots, man, so-called UFOs, all right. Just look up UFO sightings. That's what is going to be coming to. This, well, that's what's coming, okay, to deliver the Lord's elect, all right. And guess what? It says in Passover, He will preserve it, man. You see, He's going to preserve it from what? He's going to pres preserve it for one. Them nuclear missiles, man. Okay? That's he's that the Lord is going to send on different parts of the earth, but mainly America. All right, Babylon the Great. So going back, this is uh Revelation 4 15 and 2. It says, And I saw it as it were, were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb. 
Okay? Saying great and marvelous are thy works. Lord, Yahweh, Almighty, just true and just and true are thy ways, thou King of the saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, Yahweh, Shemal, Shai, and glorify thy name? For thou art only are holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. And it's really going to be made manifest in this time, man. All right? So those, those uh, Israelites, those of the elect that get beamed up on them ships, all right? They're going to witness, okay, the missiles hit from above. The missiles hit, okay, all these different places, especially America. And they're going to witness what? The destruction, man. All right? They're going to witness that. That's what I'm trying to get on. I'm trying to get on the chariots. I'm trying to witness that, man. I'm not trying to be a part of what you just saw in that video at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. All right? Because like I said, that's just one missile. That's one or two missiles that they let off. Imagine, like I said, millions of missiles coming at once. All right? Because you Edomites that did that shit, all right, you're going to pay for that. You are, you're going to catch it worse, man. All right? You might have got a laugh out of that when you did that. But guess what? Everybody else is going to get the last laugh when you uh, meet the same fate, man. All right? America won't be great after that. It's not great now, and it never was great. This is, uh... So the only ones that's going to be able to abide in that day is if you are uh, of the elect of Yahweh by Hashem al All right? And even men that get put to death or beheaded, like it says in Revelation 24, for not taking... Ooh, excuse me, Salaki. For not taking the chip, the microchip, all right? What what does it say? In, uh, this, uh, it says that what they're gonna in the scriptures. It says that they're gonna be resurrected first, man, and they're gonna have automatically have a spot on the cherries, man. All right, so it's a win win situation regardless, man. Whether you have to uh, die, you know, for the truth, or whether you just you know, like like the scriptures say, there be some of you that shall not uh, taste of death, man. You see, until I see the kingdom of of Yahweh, you see, but uh. Oops, Hold on. <sighs> all right, this is uh, this is uh, Revelations in uh, 20, and actually, you know what. There's another scripture I forgot. It goes into uh, how, you know, they flat. It, it actually goes in scriptures on how. I'm just gonna quote it since I didn't get it earlier. How your um your flesh, how your eyes. It's in the book of um, Zechariah 14 and 12. How your eyes are gonna consume and your uh, your uh your uh, sockets basically, and how your tongue is gonna consume your mouth. So basically, you're gonna melt, man. And the Lord's gonna put the spirit. Your spirit and make it make you feel it, man. He's not just gonna allow you to die a quick death. All right. He's gonna make you feel it, man, for your wickedness. But this is uh Revelation 20, right? Let me see. And nine. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints, which is the saints of the Israelites. Uh Psalms 148 and 13. It says, In the beloved city. And fire came down from Yahweh out of the heaven, out of heaven, and devoured them. And the devil, you Edomites, that deceived them, was cast into the lake of fire, all right, and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever, man. All right, and you know what the lake of fire is now, because people actually think that's talking about, you know, a realm in the underground. They're talking about hell. Hell is just a low condition, all right. And this is what you, you Edomites are about to go into. You're already starting to begin your hell. All right, you're being brought into a low condition. But let me show you that, that fire. That's the lake of fire. You can't really see it, but you see that lava looking like stuff? That's what America's going to look like. The whole uh, uh, country of America, the United States of America is going to look like that. All right? Look at the uh, United States on the map. That whole thing is going to be a lake of fire real soon. All right? Um, and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from the face of the, of the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw 
Let me see. Yep, and I saw the dead and small and great stand before you, Howard, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And this is what we say. See, he saw you've been judging, okay, the world based off your uh your so called constitution, your so called laws, okay, your draconian laws. That's really all it is. Okay, laws that has loopholes in it for the top people. You top doubles to just get away with things like, you know, pedophile ranks, okay, drug ranks, okay, human trafficking ranks, all right, all these different ranks, all right, you've been judging based off your so-called system, your B system, but now the Lord, the, 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 the heavenly court, all right, is fitting to come to you as it is now, all right, and you people, okay, has been showing your teeth and showing off, which I'm not excluded from that, all right, I don't want to sound proud, but you've been showing off, all right, You've uh despised the counsel of the Lord. You're gonna be judged according to the uh to the uh the law, statute, and commandment, man. When the Lord comes back, He's gonna judge you according to His laws, man. All right, according to your works. What what have you been doing on the planet Earth? All right, have you been uh rebellious? Have you been wicked, or have you been trying, you know, to glorify My name and uh uh, uh you know seek Me ten times more and get right? That's how it's gonna be judged, man. All right. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell was proven what? That the lake of fire can't be talking about uh, uh, hell and the ground. Because check this out. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. All right? So how is hell going to be cast into the lake of fire? I thought hell was uh, the lake of fire. Okay? You see, this is the second death because the first death was what? It was the flood. All right. The Lord flooded the earth, man. He killed the wicked off by uh, uh, flooding the earth. OK, to where all those those wicked ass people, they drown, man. All those people was laughing at Noah and telling him he was crazy. They drown. And the same thing is finna happen. Like I said, this time is going to be fire, though. All right. That's going to be that second death. OK. And in the spirit, Habakkuk 2 and the second chapter told you that death and hell is Esau. All right. And it says, when whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Meaning what? All the wicked. Okay. Well, anybody's not, uh, like, if anybody's not found that the book of life, you know, anybody's not part of how about Shema Shah's elect and those that's meant for salvation, all right, you're going to perish, man. You're going to. If you even make it that far, because you, you can't forget, you got the famine, you got the uh, the civil unrest, all right, the uh, pestilence, you know, you're going to have wild animals, you're going to have all types of judgment uh, going on out here, okay? And if you make it past all that, it's because the Lord is saving you, all right, if you make it past all that and you haven't been delivered, I'm going to put it that way, if you haven't been delivered on the so-called church, you start seeing people, uh, the elect get beamed up, uh, uh. Uh, Slocky, you ain't getting beamed up, okay, on that chariot, all right, and you still on the ground after those people get beamed up, all right, most likely you you going to fit in this. You're going to be uh, Revelation 2015. And real quick, let me see if I can find that uh commercial. Bear with me. All right, so um, this is what uh the commercial that they put out. You know, a year ago, and I did a video on it, but um, let me show it. What you see up there, you seen the what? You seen the chariot, you see the elites. The people that put this commercial together, they they be watching the videos and they know, all right, what we saying is true. Do the spirit and power how about Shema Shah? See that right there? The light coming down, what you think it's doing? Destroying and also what? It's going to preserve and it's going to show you in the video.
16. If you, if that moment hit, all right, and you still on the ground in chariots after they get those certain people, they just disappear and go off somewhere else. You still on the ground with these people, you going to die, all right? And why is it not a coincidence that uh, all these people that you see in the video that's calm, you know, that's just going about their business, you know, which that's Jake. Jake, all hell could be breaking loose and Jake just be playing around like now, but... Why is it not a coincidence that the people that I beamed up or was, wasn't getting touched was all so-called Negro and Latinos, man? Because they know that we're the people, man. All right? And when he went up, it sounded like he said the elect. All right, let me go back a little bit. So, so all right, that's really going to happen. Um, let me read one more time. Revelation 20 and 15 says, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's, for, that's what's fitting to happen. All right, so you people, man. All right? And you know what? I'll get that, what I was talking about, uh, Zechariah. All right, 14 and 12. It's Revelations, not Revelations, uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, And this... And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh by Shemesh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume. Okay, so like he says, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And what's that going to? You melting, all right? You basically dying a horrible death, man. And that's what I'm not trying. Or well, any of you uh, brothers or uh, you Akin or Akwafi brothers and sisters that watch video, it's not what we trying to be a part of, man. We trying to escape that, man. Because you, trust me, you do not want to uh, be this person, man, that, that's burnt and destroyed like this, man, in this fashion, man. All right? That's a, a agonizing and slow death, man. Okay? You think getting shot is bad. It's nothing compared to what the Lord is really fitting to do. All right? It's, Fitting to be the judgment is fitting to be out of this rim, okay. And that's what's gonna happen, man. Okay, um, this is uh, back to Malachi 104. It says. It says one and two, four and two, actually, not one and four, but it says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of thy feet. And the day that I shall do this, said the Lord, how about Shema Shav host, man? All right? So the wicked is going to be turned to ashes, man. All you people that are living your best life now, all right? You want to be wicked? This is what you got. This is this is your end. This is the fate of you. If you make it, like I said, if you make it that far, all right. That's another scary thing. You don't know if you're preserved for a missile to eat a missile, man. All right. A lot of you eating mice gonna get caught in the missile. Uh, be killed in these missiles. All of you eating mice. Let me put it this way. All you eating mice in America. All right. You gonna die via if you make it that far. The missiles, man. All right. You heathens and two thirds of you, man. Okay. And you gonna have to come back. Okay, through your uh your counterparts that made it, if I said that right, okay, through all of this. And I'm gonna actually get that. Alright. Let me get this actually. This is uh, Revelations 10. This is what's going to be said after that. Revelations 18 and 1. And after these things saw 
I saw another little angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried with a mighty, with mighty, with a strong voice, saying, "Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils." This is after the destruction and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird, man. Okay. And this is speaking of America. America will be destroyed, man. Completely destroyed, man. You will have uh, a lot of these places. They're going to be moved out of their uh, original positions. But America is going to be the only place that's going to really be destroyed, man. It's going to be unrecognizable. It's going to be defaced. But it says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath, of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of of her delicacies. And I heard another voice come from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And that's now. All right. That's what you're supposed to be doing now. It's not something you do when all hell breaks loose. All right. That last minute mindset, that's that's out the window. All right. It's either now or it's never. All right. For her sins have reached on to heaven, and how have remembered her iniquities. And this is why this place is in a state of. Decline like it is. All right. The, the sins of this place is too damn great, man. All right. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works and the cup which she had filled to her, filled to her double. These other nations. All right. When they shoot the missiles. How much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow. And shall see no sorrow, man. All right? You look at America, right? And you compare it to the world. All right? You got all these, you know, hand medic, them, them so-called African countries. You know, you got down in South, South America, South Central America, Puerto Rico. All right? What do you look, what do you see? And even in the Middle East, not to forget about that. What do you see with these countries? They're impoverished, man. They're third world countries, man. And that's because of the policies and because of the warfare America has uh, committed against these countries, all right? The robbing that they've committed, all right? And what has America been? Everybody over here, they living deliciously. You got you can go to a fast food restaurant, all right? You got uh, uh, all types of breads and circuses, social media. You got sports. You've had all these things, man. You've been living on your high horse, man, all right? And, and because of that, that lifestyle you've been living for, for, for generations, okay? This is why you have the mindset that America will never be destroyed. This is why you have the mindset that nobody can defeat America's military. But according to prophecy, that's going to happen. And we in that time. Okay? It says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the judge, the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall be well her lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning because they was what? This America is a consuming nation. All you people in America do is consume. You went from a manufacturing uh, hub to what? A consumer, a consumer nation, man. All right? You had people talk about China this, China that. But where did a lot of your goods come from? China, man. Taiwan. Okay, Vietnam. You no, know, in my job, we get a lot of stuff from Vietnam, Th Thailand, and, you know, China. You know? All around, man. Okay? You don't hardly see you hardly see anything made in the U.S. anymore. And that's also another uh, uh, sign of decline within this empire, man. Just off that alone, it says, "Stand afar off, off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, man, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore." And then it goes into the uh, merchandise, okay? It's not going to read all the way. I got the point out of it, all right? This is going to happen, man. All this you see right now is going to come. It's going to stop. Why? Because it's going to be no more. It's going to be destroyed, all right? The fire is a, fire is a cleansing agent. It's going to rid, okay, this place you see now as America, man, okay? It's going to be done. And you know, they know it just by that commercial I played. All right, they know what's coming. The elites. When I say they, the elites. Because you Joe Six Packs, you don't know nothing. Okay, you believe the Constitution. You believe America's going to go on forever. You are, you're sadly mistaken. Even your elites know it. This is why, 
according to Amos, the ninth chapter, they're going to what? They're going to hide in their doomsday bunkers, which they probably are in now. Plotting, you know, to put the mask mandate and everything. Okay? They ain't hiding right now because they know it's coming. All right? You people finna be the fuel. All right? The elites left you Joe Six-Pack Edomites to dry out here. And even the elite of you other heathens. Okay? They got enough money to really hide from this. And the Lord put the spirit on them to hide. So he could put them in captivity. Which I'm going to get that, man. All right? This place going to be destroyed, though. Okay? We're going to make this place a burnt mountain. This is, uh... I'm going to get that, actually. Revelation 6 and... Thirteen, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casts it for untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Which that mighty wind is what? If you go into Jeremiah fifty one and one, that wind is what? That destruction. Okay, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it rolled together, and every mountain and island will move out of their places. So this is most likely after the destruction, the nuclear destruction. All right, this place is going to be deformed, man. You're not going to recognize it, and that's good because that's going to be the that's going to be the real reset. They talking about a great reset now. That's going to be the real reset. All right. It says, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, these bunkers, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne from the wrath of the Lamb, which is who? Yahweh Okay. That's who they're going to hide from. See, they know this is true. The scriptures say the devil, know, uh, know, even the devil know there is a God and, and, and tremble and fear. You see? In the book of Hebrews, man. They know it's a power. You see? They know what we're saying is true. They've done the research before some of us, even before some of us, including myself, even woke up. They've been through this for, for, for decades. All right? It was just a matter of time before we woke up. Okay? But it says... For the great day of his wrath is coming. Who shall be able to stand? We already know who's going to stand that day. And the elites going to them. They're going to be able uh, to escape that. All right. Let me get um, Psalms 109. Well, I get Amos 8. I just got it early. I get that. I actually went past it. No, the time of Amos 9. I actually went past the time limit, you know. I was going to end this video a lot earlier, but I, I keep going. It's a spirit. This is Amos 9 and 1. It says, And I saw the Lord stand upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the post may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. All right? And what does the scripture say? In Luke, uh, I think it's 19, 27. He that will not have me rule over him, bring them forth here, and slay them before me. Okay? These elites, they don't want our kingdom to come into... They don't want... The kingdom of Yahweh Shah is coming to set up to come to pass. All right, you heathens don't want it. And two-thirds of our people don't want the kingdom of heaven set up. So all you're going to be slave before them. But really, you elites. It says, and he that flee of them shall not flee away. And he that escape of them shall not be delivered. So they're going to be able to escape all right, the, uh, the nuclear destruction. But they're not going to escape Okay, going into captivity. And I'm going to get that. Though they dig in the hell, which means the ground, you know, you underground doomsday bunkers, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, you know, space bunkers, because they have those as well. Just look up the video where you could take a vacation up in space, man, if you could find it. All right, they ain't take it down. It says, then will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, then will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Okay? And that's the thing. Showing you how much money that these people have, man. To have a bunker, you know, in the ground. I know they say under the White House is a, it's a whole bunker, man. A whole city, man. They got whole underground cities. That's not a lie. People think that this is just made up. Just like you thought the whole uh, New World Order agenda was made up. But it's in your face now. All right? They have these things. Okay? So you got, they got bunkers in the damn sea, man. 
But that's not uh, really far-fetched because if you look up Dubai, they have I think they have underwater hotels. Okay? So it's not far-fetched. All right? But the Lord is preserving them. Okay? What does it say in Revelation 13 and 10 or 11? He that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword shall must be killed with the sword. This is Psalms 149 and 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And it's that new song. This gospel is that new song, man. All right? You've never heard in these churches that all the heathens, who the heathens were, and what's going to, their judgment. All right? They're fitting to go into captivity. All right? You will, you will uh, Edomites, you going into captivity. You will at least go into captivity. All right? We fitting to rule next. You don't hear this. This is that new song. All right? And his praise in the congregation of the saints, the Israelites. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the temple and the harp. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with his salvation. All right? Because this, this salvation that's going to take place, this deliverance, is going to be strange to people. People thought these what, what the Lord is going to do on the planet Earth as a whole, okay? Whether it's judgment or whether it's deliverance, it's going to be far-fetched. It's going to be what you only thought you could see in movies, man. And the movies ain't even doing it justice, man. That's how far-fetched it's going to be. The strangeness of his salvation, like it says in Wisdom of Psalm 5, man. All right? It says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Because, like I say, when you in your bed, what are you doing? You resting, man. Who's in their bed now? It's you you elites, man. You Edomites. This is your rest. This is your heaven. All right? Now you, you starting to, what? You got to get out your bed, man. And what that mean when you get out your bed? You got to work. You got to do something. All right? Let the higher praise of Yahweh by Shema Shai be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and to pun and punishments upon the people. All right? Because another thing I forgot is what? When we are lifted up in those chariots, what's going to happen? All right? We're gonna, our bodies are going to be changed. We're going to get them upgraded, man. We're going to get that upgraded body, man. All right? We're going to be, like it says, as gods, as the house of David, man. Zechariah the 12th chapter, man. We're going to come down with the new bodies, the immortal bodies, with power. And this is what we're going to do. All right? We're going to execute vengeance upon you heathens. All right? And a punishment upon you people because you're going to have uh, Israelites, wicked Israelites that still survive all this. And they're still going to be rebellious. They still are going to uh, act like heathens, man. So they're going to be purged out, like it says, I believe in. Ezekiel the 20th chapter. All right, how the rebels shall be purged out. And that's going to be amongst our people, man. All right? Because that's going to that's going end, man. That whole rebellious spirit of, of Jake. Okay, like you see in this society all the time, huh? This is where it stops, man. All right? This is where it's going to be cut off for good, man. No more wicked niggas, man. All right? To bind their kings. What kings? The elites of the heathen. With chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. And look that up if you think I'm lying. All right? They're going to be what? They're going to be searched out. Okay? They're going to be hunted. Them, them uh, fishers, like it says, Jeremiah 16 and 16. For I will send for many fishers, which is the prophets. We fishing for the elect. Right? But then I will send for uh, I will send many hunters. And they shall hunt them from the holes, the rocks, and the caves, man. All right? This is going to be our task, man. When we come out in chariots and uh, come down after all this destruction. All right, it's going to be hunting season, man. These same men you look at it as nothing or, you know, this ain't going to happen or you just ain't going to do, you ain't going to do this or that. All right, it's going to be the same men that's going to be hunting you, man, if you make it. All right? It says to execute upon them the judgment written because this is written. This is going to play out. At some point, this is going to play out. We're not going to keep being, okay, in the phase of people just wearing masks. And still smoking cigarettes and still, you know, being wicked, man. And Esau just keep pumping the numbers up day by day. You know, he'll lock stuff down and then he'll unlock stuff. And things will go back. It's not going to keep being like that, man. This is going to have to come to pass at some point. And we at that moment. All right? Things is getting tight. This honor have all his saints. Praise you, Lord. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah. All right? That's what's fitting to happen, man. All right? You elites. You're going to be rounded up. Anybody else that survive, are you heathens, all right? You're going to be rounded up, and you're going to be put in captivity, man. And you're going to be put to work, man, all right? This is going to be a new slave trade. Let me get that, okay? 
Like I said, you know, you had the, the transatlantic slave trade dealing with our people. Well, it's going to be a transatlantic slave trade part two. This time it ain't going to be us, though. This is Joel 3, right? And 5, I'll get to the point. It says, because you have taken my silver and my gold, which if you go into Lamentations 1, I get it. Just, just for uh, edification. It's Lamentations 2 and 1. It says, how have the Lord covered the daughter of Zion? With the cloud and his anger and cast down from heaven. Uh is this it? I think it's three and one. Nah, it's two and one. Hold on. Probably one and one. Probably four. It's lucky. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Lamentation 4 and 1. I know I was, wasn't was going crazy, but it says, How has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, all right, the Israelites, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pictures, the works of the hands of potter. All right, so going back. Just had to bring that up. Joel 3 and 5. So you, not only you, because this, you know, you was going to, you know, going to the time where, you know, especially 70 AD, you know, the uh, Titus and Vespasian, you know, the Romans, when they came in, they killed off a lot of our people. They starved a lot of our people out, which really was judgment from the Heavenly Father. All right. Some of our people managed to flee into uh, the mountains and Different parts of uh some of our people fled into Arabia. You had a lot of Israelites go into Africa. All right, that's where we were rounded up and brought to the Americas and elsewhere we were scattered. All right, that's why it took place. But um, when they did that, look up the Ark of Titus. All right, I believe it's called the Ark of Titus. And what does it show you? It shows you. I'm gonna probably look it up. It says because you have taken my gold, my silver, and my gold. And have carried your temple and your, to your temples, my goodly pleasant things. Let me just look that up real quick. The Ark of Titus. I believe it was called the Ark, the Arch of Titus. Or Ark. Alright? Because if you look on. If I get an up close picture, there it is. You see? This is what they were doing. Those of them, them Grecians, those Edomites, they were what? They were sacking our temple, man. They was take, they took a lot of our stuff out of there. This is what they were doing. All right. And they even made, just like they've done everything else, all right, with these different slave masters like George Washington, Albert Pike, okay, Lincoln, um, all these just um these uh racist Edomites, they what put statues up of them, praising them. For what? Trying our people down. This, this is another statue that they put up. Alright? Look. Taking the manure out. They taking everything. Okay? So going back. This is Joel 3. And pick up where I left off. And 6, it says the children also of Judah, the so-called Negroes. You know, you got Benjamin, the West Indies. And the Haitians, Levi. All right, that's the house of Judah. You got the Northern Kingdom as well. All right, the so-called Latins and Native and Sino Indians, man. Okay? All of us have been what? Sold, man. And the children of Jerusalem have been sold onto the Grecians, Edomites, that you might remove them far from their border, which was what? The land of Israel. And that's a part of the curses that we were scattered amongst these other nations, man. But how did that come to play? It came to play mostly uh, via the transatlantic slave trade. All right? When we were being some of our, a lot of our people was being shipped from the west to the east. And a lot of our people was already here in the western hemisphere. All right. With what? Being shipped out east. Okay. Our people are everywhere. And it says, behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them. And we being raised up now in the spirit. But it's going to be physical real soon. And you will turn your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. Us. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, which is what? Them Hamites, man. Cush, Cush, the tribe of Cush. 
mainly them so-called Ethiopians, okay? We're going to put them as taskmasters over you, all right? Because you ain't going to, when we in our kingdom, you working in our fields and everything, you ain't going to want to see our faces, man. This is how we watch slave movies, particular slave movies, you know, when uh, Jake would be in the field picking cotton or, you know, building the house up or whatever they were doing, man. You know, plant, uh, doing a garden or doing a farm, you know, and the master, you know, will come out. That crusty Edomite will come out. If something went wrong, you know, he will uh, take that one Jake, tie him up to a, a tree or something and, and, and whip his back to whip his back extremely bad right in front of the men and children and the uh, women. Probably take the woman and rape him. All right, because we're not going to be, you know, doing a lot of madness Esau did. We're going to judge you according to our law, statutes, and commandments, man, righteously. All right, you're still going to catch hell, though. You see? You ain't going to want to see us, man. All right? You will set up a, uh, a Uncle Tom, a, not Uncle Tom, but a coon, a Jake, a sellout Jake. You'll put him over uh, the rest of the Jakes, and he'll be even more worse, you know, than, than he is because he feel like he privileged, just like you see today, man. Jay-Z and all these other clowns that's high up in society, they're just high privileged slaves, man. All right? That's what we finna do with you. The, the, the tables is finna turn, man. All right? The plowman is finna overtake the reaper. To a people far off. And we're gonna sell you to them uh them Hamites. All right? Just like those Arabians. Because you going to captivity too, you Ishmaelites. All right? You sold us. You rounded us up. And you different Hamitic tribes. You rounded us up as well. All right, and sold us to these Edomites. So we finna sell these Edomites, and you as well, because you're not exempt from this. All right, we finna sell you around. All right, so it's gonna be a slave tra transatlantic slave trade part two. All right, this time we, like I said, we ain't gonna be on the ships. For for uh, sell them, and they shall sell them to the savings to a people far off. For the Lord has spoken it. All right, and actually going up. What did you do? You sold our uh, right. It says it right here, Joel 3 and 3. It says, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot. Just watch that movie, Goodbye Uncle Tom, man. All right? They was throwing glitter on our little, uh, our kids, man. This devil was throwing glitter on your kids, fagging your kids out. You see? This is what he's about. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. So we finna do the same thing to you. And it's gonna be all just, man. Okay? For your how is just, man. All right? It's called righteous recompense. So you're going to be sold, what, from plantation to plantation, man. You're going to be sold on auction. Just read Deuteronomy 28 to 15, verse on down. What did uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7 say? For, for I will put these curses upon all thy enemies that hate thee, man. That's what's coming to you, you heathen, man. Starting with you Edomites. It's uh, Ezekiel 39 and... Right? And 8. It says, Behold, it is come. It is done, said the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the seas of Israel shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons. All right? So we're going to take your AK-47s, your, your F-30s, your fire jets, all these different weapons that you heathen have and that you hold and trust boldly in to keep you in power. All that's going to be burnt up, man. All right? And what? And both shields and bucklers, the bows and the arrows and the hand staffs and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years, so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any of the forest. Because you got now, since Esau is a power, you got something called deforestation, man. These trees are how you breathe oxygen, man. Why you keep tearing down trees knowing you have you need oxygen to breathe, man? All right? You know, sometimes you go outside, especially when it's real hot outside, you know, it's real hard to breathe sometimes. Okay? That's because of all the deforestation, man. Them chopping down trees just to build useless businesses, man. That's going to go out of business and eventually be burned anyway. But it says, For they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoil them, and rob those that rob them, said the Lord Yahweh Shem And this is in the scriptures. We're not saying this out of our own mouth. You see? It said to rob them, man. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog, the Russians, a place, a place thereof, graves in Israel, and the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers, and there shall, shall they bury 
Gog and all his motu, and they shall call it the Valley of Hammer Gog, because a lot of people in the Star Wars war that's re getting ready to pop off, that's brewing up daily, if not, all right, a lot of people going to die in World War Three just alone, man, okay? So all them, all them bodies that's going to be uh, just sitting out there rotting and stinking, like it says in Isaiah 34, all right, who's going to clean them up? It's going to be, okay, you heathens, starting with you elites. That's going to be your first task, man, to clean up the dead bodies, okay? Before you start building our kingdom. And it says, in the seven months shall the house of Israel be burying of them, that they may cleanse them. And we're not going to be doing it, all right? We're going to have slaves to do that, all right? Did he saw, when he brought us over here, did he touch anything? Of course not. You see? Of course not. So you think we're going to be hands-on in our kingdom? Of course not. We're going to have servants to do that. It says, Yeah, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be done, shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, said the Lord Yahweh by Shemam Shah. And they shall sever out men a continual employment. What? Servants. Men, servants, and maid servants, man. All right? Of you nations. Okay? So you see right now, what do you have? You have something called unemployment. You got millions and millions and millions and millions of people unemployed. You ain't going to be, in our kingdom, it's never going to be a such thing as unemployment. It's going to be always work to do. You see? And it's not going to be by choice either, man. See, Esau, at first, when he came out to you Israelites, it was all, okay, by force. But then when he so-called set you free, all right, he's made it made it to where, really, it's it's still not a choice. All right, if you want to live in the house, if you want to have a car, if you want to eat, you got to work for me. The only choice you have is what place you want to work at, you see? So really, you're not, you haven't been left free. You still have to forcefully work for this devil. He pays you just enough just so you have to come back the next day, all right? So it's going to be like that for them, man. Let me read it again. It says, in day, so seven out men of continual employment, passing through the land to bury with the passengers, those that remain upon the face of the earth, to cleanse it. After the end of seven months, shall they search. All right? I got the point out of this. Okay? I ended with this. This is Ezekiel 39 and 20. Thus, ye shall be filled at my table with horses, chariots, and with mighty men, and with, with all men of war, said the Lord Yahweh, man. And I will set my, because we lost all that, all right? Isaiah the third chapter tells you we lost all that. Look at our men today, all right? Esau it made our men, most of the men, effeminate, man, of our nation, man. He uplifted our women above us, all right? To have us persecuted by a system. You see? And this is going to be that judgment for all that, man. This is going to be the Lord's recompense for all that. This is going to be the reparations our people are asking for. This is the true reparations right here, man. Why would you not want this, man? All right? Why, as a so-called black, Latino, Native American man, would you not want this, man? I want this, man. To hell with money, that fake money that you want. To hell with the 97 acres of land within his kingdom that you still got to pay him money and taxes for just to dwell in that land, man. To hell with that, man. I want rulership. All right? It says, And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed. And my hand that I have laid upon them. And what he saying in Ezekiel 25 and 12. That he will lay uh, his vengeance, his anger upon with the hand of his people. Through the hand of his people, Israel, man. Alright? We're going to be executing on the planet Earth the judgment of the Lord, man. Okay? And it's going to start with those elect men. That governing body, man. Alright? And then the rest of our nation, they're going to be brought back in their right mindset. You see? It's going to be all good in the kingdom. We're going to be living it up, man. Alright? No more ghetto, you know, like in the ghetto, like Rick, uh, what Rick James said. You see, ain't gonna be no more of that. That's gonna be, that's gonna be out the window, man. All right, that's gonna be over with. It's gonna be these heathen turns to be in the ghetto, but they're not even gonna be in ghettos, man. See, what we, what, what these ghettos that Jake in throughout America and throughout the world, all right, curse shall I be in the city, curse shall I be in the field, all right. These heathens are gonna get way worse than that, especially Esau. You know, Esau can't handle. You know, living in them type of conditions, man. All right? But they're going to have to deal with it in the kingdom to come. 
22nd verse says, So shall the house of Israel so the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh Bashima Shah the power from that day and forth, man. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel, all right, went into captivity, went into slavery for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore I hid my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword, man. Alright? Which is Esau, Psalm 17, 13. Alright? That's what's gonna be known. Cause it's being known through the videos now, but people still believe this devil. Nah, this devil, he just took y'all down because he was powerful. Okay. We're gonna see then. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. After that, they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' land and them sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them onto their own land and have left none of them anymore there. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. For I, will, I, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah. So what, is that? what does that mean? When we won with our power, what? We ain't going to never depart from Yahweh by Shemal Shah, which means what? We're going to have the Lord's Statue of Commandments and our animal part. We're going to forever be living, man. We're going to forever be in power, man. No more captivity. This is the last captivity. This is the last hellhole that we will be in, man. All right? And there's going to be nothing these heathen can do to uh, separate us from our God, man. Ever again. Because they ain't going to be in a position to do it. They're going to be in a position that you see our people in now. Helpless, hopeless, and defenseless. Okay, and so Yahweh Bashima Shah make his move. Call hello, Allah Yahweh Bashima Shah. Yahweh Ratazah. This was Edifying. Baba Gashah. Baba Ba. Aba Ba Ba. Aba Ha Ayapia. Aba Ha Ayapia. Shalom to your luck. And Shalom to the few. Akwaf that do listen. Shalom.